I'm joined by Connor Phillips this week. Welcome. It is great to see you, and it is great to see the script doing Crow Park. I tell you, did you see them on the, the X Factor on Saturday night? They were superb. Mm -hmm. they've, they've just fitted into the pop world just perfectly, so they have. And the X Factor just keeps getting stranger and better every single week. Uh, and one young lady who is the talk of the town is Chloe Jasmine. Oh, the posh one. The posh one. Now, I met up with the posh one during the week, and she's a big fan, a big fan of your fine self. I'm sure she is. Let's have a wee look. <laughs> What is it like being out of the X Factor and how was the experience for you? Well, all good things come to an end, okay. essentially, and it was a magical experience. Thanks. You look splendid, so you do. Tell so us. Do doesn't, doesn't Sarah look gorgeous as well? well? Look at Sarah. I think she's a divine creature. <laughs> a divine creature? Yeah, you're a creature. divine creature. Just look to at you. To be sure. Now, I don't know why you've sent me to Castle Rock here on the North Coast, and more importantly, I don't know why you've sent me here to Hazlitt House for Halloween. This picturesque little cottage Scary? I've had scarier phone bills. What have performing arts got to do with what I'm going to experience this evening? Well, performing arts, along with the National Trust, um, have put together an event that we believe will scare you crazy. A, a gentleman who's been in this very seat, a good friend of the magazine, is Mr Jimmy Nesbitt, and he is going to be on every TV screen over the next wee while. We love Jimmy indeed. Mm. And what about the missing? It's uh, Jimmy being a father who gets his child abducted in 2006. Mm -hmm. Now, they've jumped forward eight years and it really really is so so watchable so enthralling uh, we have a clip this is an exclusive and this is what you can see on the missing tomorrow night oh. oliver drew this the day that he was taken am i going mad that is the same as that oh my goodness he's so believable mm. as well he's he just really is so good he's gonna be everywhere right he's got a, a new series babylon so they've actually made it into a five or six part series which is coming to channel four looking forward to that and of course he's gonna be in hollywood himself uh, the hobbit comes out the second week in december rumor oh. has it rumor has it i'm only saying mm -hmm. that uh, jimmy nesbitt only works with specifically very talented people. <coughs> I'm, I'm only saying. That was, of course. We had to wait until it was dark. The smells. It, it smells scary. What you're about to see was shot in night vision. Remember, I can't see a thing. <coughs> it is the creepiest old house. It's so cold. <laughs> it's proper full on. It's so scary. Shh. Mm -hmm. Come along with me, and you can find out what happens to people who torment my ears with sound. Come along. <laughs> I, I think I better do what she says. Oh. Do you know what else we need to talk about? These the two guys. of the greatest men in the history of the world. Barry and Paul Chuckle. Now, just uh, watch out, Simon Cowell. He thought he's going to get Christmas number one. No, he's not. The oh. Chuckle brothers have uh, teamed up with uh, rapper Tinchy Strider to produce a bit of this action, which is going to be released for charity, and it could be the big single this Christmas. What in goodness name does Tinchy Strider have in common with the Chuckle brothers? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Why has this not happened before? Why is this just happening now? <laughs> I don't know. It'll be everywhere. Absolutely possible Christmas number one. To you. To me. That's it. Leave right. it there. Connor Phillips, thank you very much. That is your lot for another week. Thanks to Connor for being our uh, guest uh, this evening. Thanks Tonight. to all my guests. Shut up, would you? <laughs> oh, you should have listened. To yeah, me. I should have listened to you. I should have. <laughs> Sarah Travers, I completely understand why you did not want to come down here. So if you want to go and explore that, we're in Castle Rock. It is Hazlitt House, and I need two things. One, a stiff drink and two, a change of underpants. <laughs>